All right, you asked for it and you're getting it. Big Brother recaps, here we go. Well, this one's not a recap, it's a first impressions basically. If you don't know me, I grew up watching Big Brother. I started watching it when I was like eight years old and I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. My goal in life is actually to be on Big Brother and hello vlog channel, we are on the vlog channel because you guys voted and decided to put it on here. So I gave it, left it in your hands, this is what you wanted. I think it's a smart idea because not everyone is as obsessed with Big Brother as I am, but I know a lot of you, or at least a handful of you are big fans and so I thought I would do my thoughts because I have a lot of thoughts on this game. Okay so they released the cast recently and I thought we would go over first impressions, uh, talk about the house a little bit because they did the house tour, and also some of the new twists. First off I'm going to applaud them for getting rid of Battle of the Block. I hated this competition. I hated that there were two HOHs and four nominees. It was just a hot mess. I'm just so glad that's done and over with. However they are replacing it with a new competition and ceremony on Sundays. So I'm really confused. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm really curious to see what they're planning. They also are never doing have not competitions anymore, which, you know, those I kind of liked. I thought they were fun and they kind of broke up the week a little bit because before we only really got HOH veto and eviction. So I'm kind of glad that they're adding something if they're taking away Battle of the Block and all that. Um, I'm glad they're adding something to it, but I don't know what this is gonna entail and they took away have nots which they have for a while but yeah so for the cast okay i have issues every single year with the cast of big brother this year there was a little spark of hope and they took it away they just took it away and i'll get into that however anyone else noticed they announced 12 house guests that's right only 12 have been announced and so that leaves me to think well there's 16 spots, usually they have 16 people, so there's some people, some more people coming into it, and I don't know if it's going to be old house guests maybe, which I just wish they would stop doing because they keep pulling from the pool of all-stars that could have the possibility to come back for another all-stars. Let's just get a campaign going for season 19 to be an all-stars. I mean, they haven't done one since season seven. I mean, come on, Big Brother, CBS, what are you doing? You have so many cool people, but they keep using the damn people over and over again in multiple seasons, and therefore, they're not gonna come back for an all-stars season, or if they do, it's stupid, I don't know. I am just a diehard, old-school Big Brother fan, and so I watch these seasons, the current seasons. I'm going on a little bit of rant, I'm sorry. I watch the current seasons. They are not my favorite. I love old seasons up until maybe cycle 13 like that's pushing it but those are like my favorites because they cast very different people they didn't care if you were married or in a relationship and all they cast now are single people there goes all my chances to get into the house i'm not single so god forbid i can't be a showmance they love to create drama they love to have flirty people in the house young attractive people and it gets so tiring if you look back on old season of big brother there were like not as attractive people. They didn't care. They were older, some older ones, married ones, married with kids. Like, there was just a diverse group of people. And now they have the token people that they cast every year. And you know which ones I'm talking about. And then primarily just straight white people who are in their mid-20s. And it just pisses me off. I want to go back to the old days, but we have to embrace what it is now because it will never be what it was before. So we'll just embrace new thing they got going on, which makes me mad. Every season when I see a cast, I'm like, well, same as last year. That's nice. My first impressions of all the house guests, first of all, what the hell is up with their life mottos? Literally one girl's was YOLO. I initially loved the old guy. He's 50. He has, he's a dad. He's an old police detective. Sounds cool. He's from the Bronx. He had, obviously would have a personality. And I was like, thank you. Someone who is not 20 years old in this house. Until today, I read he's a Trump supporter, which to each their own, I just can't be behind someone who supports Trump. And that's a personal decision, opinion thing, whatever. I don't want to bring politics into it, but Big Brother brought on in the politics, so I'm going to make my comments about it because they started it. Now we have a few siblings in this house, and I don't know how I feel about that because one is going to try to hide it, the other is not. So Polly is Cody's brother, right? He said he's not going to hide it at all. He has their last name tattooed on him, so it's not going to be a hidden secret. And I think this will actually play into Tiffany's gameplay 
to hide the fact that she is Vanessa's sister. I think it'll be a distraction, but I still think there's conspiracy theorists out there in the house. They're gonna find out. Like, why would you hide something? We've seen this with Alyssa and Rachel. You cannot hide when you're siblings with someone because they will figure it out. I bet Polly's game will benefit from the fact that he's up front, but I do think he will be sent home early because of the fact he's Cody's brother. So it's a catch-22, just siblings, don't go in the house. That's it. Now we got some weird people. I'm just looking on my computer over here. First of all, Victor, who casted this guy? I'm always looking for the next girl to talk to and I'm never satisfied with what I have. I'm always wanting more. And one of his interests is women. Okay, so we have a misogynistic womanizer here who clearly just sees women as property and just wants to go one onto the next. He's extremely confident, cocky I would say, and calls himself sexy, which He's gonna be like the Jeremy of that one season. Which, okay, before you guys tell me not to typecast or, you know, that they all have a specific group of like people they have to fill, they do it every year. It's not me. I'm just saying that the, they cast these people every single year. They cast the same freaking people. It's not my doing. I'm just saying he's in that category of like the macho, cocky guy. Paul, the hipster guy, he's I. I, I don't have anything to say about him so far. Now, Corey is another thing. They, okay, people are super detectives. They've already found homophobic comments that he's made on Twitter. He is obviously friends with Clay. They both play for Texas a and I, I think he's supposed to be the stereotypical hot guy that they cast. They always cast like a hot, sports player, which to me, not attractive at all. So I think the women might love him, but he sounds boring. So we got Bronte. She is a little weird, a little quirky. She was in a Super Bowl commercial, which was weird. I honestly think that she'll be a little bit of a floater in addition to Bridget. I think she is kind of like the nerdy cute girl and who will be kind of shy, although she says she has a dark side, so we'll see. Honestly though, my overall opinion of all the women this season is that they will be floaters, except for Tiffany. I feel like. Zakia seems a little bit desperate. She really wants a showmance, so we'll see. Michelle is someone that a lot of people are saying reminds them of Nicole, which right off the bat I said the same exact thing. And I genuinely think she has a shot at winning. I think she seems smart and overall just a good first impression, so and I think she can like slip through a little bit in the beginning, which I'm hoping she does and just like lays low. Natalie is the typical hot girl. She wants to name an all-girls alliance, which we all know works out really really well. And also one of her favorite colors is glitter. As far as the house goes, it's very different. It's travel. It's like every room is kind of a different country, which pff, the UK room, God help them. Every room is super like energetic or like colors, like the Japan room is amazing. But the UK room, really, it looks so boring. And my favorite part of the house, which I literally like yelled out loud when I saw this. I like screamed, oh my God. The outside is painted to look like Yosemite Falls. Every year I regret not applying, every year, this year specifically, because that sounds like such a mundane small detail of anything, but I would die. I would be out there all the time. I'd sleep out there just to be in the Yosemite painting. I don't even know. In case you didn't know, that's my favorite place on earth. So, and the last thing that I'm going to point out that's a pet peeve of mine with how the game has changed is the key ceremony. Now, for the past, I don't even know when they started this, but they have like the little box and the two keys and they turn the key and it puts up on the screen who they nominated. It's stupid. I miss the old days of pulling the keys out. That's part of the suspense. Taking that away from the house guests and you're taking it away from us. I love that ceremony. I don't care how long it takes to get through all the keys. I think it's part of Big Brother and I hate that they took that away. Like, was it so hard? I mean, they're trying to modernize it and I get it. It's 2016. They can't just like do all these like manual things. I'm well, they can. And they should. But I get that they're trying to modernize it, but I think it's going too far. Like, it's not the same game anymore. It doesn't feel like the same show. So, those are all my thoughts. Don't don't like anyone really in the house so far. Um, we'll have to see. Tell me who you predict to win, showmance, who's a floater, all of that jazz down below. Who are your favorites this season so far? And who do you think the last four house guests will be? And also tell me what you think about the game and how it's changed. I hope you guys are excited for these Big Brother recaps. Please let me know down below what you, how often you want me to post and what you want me to cover exactly. I could do one a week. I could do one a month. I can't do one every episode. I would die probably. And not to mention all my videos go up on Vessel first, so it's going to be delayed anyway. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have a link below. Basically, it's a subscription service. You get early content, so I have to post all my content there a week prior, so all of my reviews and recaps and everything will be up a week later. That's just to forewarn you. If you want early content, subscribe down below on Vessel.
But with all that being said, I hope you guys are excited for this segment, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.